Fuck me. <laughs> e. Three, two, one. They said it couldn't be done. We had doubters. Mainly ourselves. <laughs> but we've hit the double digits, baby. Episode 10, off topic, what up? Here we go, episode 10, baby. How you been, man? Good. It's good to be back, back on the mics. After the last episode, felt uh, pretty good after that one, to be fair. Um, I felt pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. Um, the rest of the night was pretty good too, to uh, tell you that much. Um, no, nah, I'm feeling good, bro. Um, I've had a pretty chill week, to be fair. Uh, I've just been working from home, doing a lot of paperwork. Um, and uh, now Friday's come around. I feel like way more like mental stress. So like I've been wanting more of a drink now than... Did like you have a, like a the moment week? today where you like, you know, I could just like close the laptop and get into it? I, I knew I had like, like, I put the shift in like during the week so that I had like not much to do on the Friday. Yeah. And like, so I finished maybe like 12 o'clock today. Nice. And it was like, well, like I finished like the actual work that I needed to do. And then, so yeah, that's when I mentally clicked over. I was like, oh yeah, weekend. Nice. Mm. So yeah, um, just had a long weekend. Mm. Um, last weekend was Anzac weekend it was pretty good um, I went up to mum and dad's again it's like the third time in like two months are they sick of you yet? oh no 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 one gets sick of me yeah. uh, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, nah so yeah that was it was good um, went up just got horizontal man um, played a lot of pool a lot of darts as, as per usual but a uh, very special weekend for us New Zealanders and Australians, if you're listening, um, it's it was Anzac weekend or Anzac Day on the Sunday, um, and so we went to uh, kind of like a dawn service parade. You know, it was like at like nine a.m. Like those that just you know like <laughs> want to like support the country for the but, retirees <laughs> dawn service. Yeah, like support the country, but like it's the weekend. Yeah, it's still Sunday. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, ended up going to that, um, and as I mentioned last episode, or probably multiple episodes, um, my older brother Gareth, shout him out. Um, what up, dude? He um, is a major in the New Zealand Army, and when we turned up to the, I'm just going to call it dawn service, um, he ended up being one of the highest ranking officers there, sick, in his full uniform, um, which was really cool, um, like a big inspiration to me and um real like emotional day um mm-hmm. so he joined like the parade um and uh they ended up asking him to read out um all the names of the fallen soldiers from new zealand in world war one and world war two gosh darn so yeah very emotional um weekend but it was it was very good i mean like afterwards like it finished like 11 and we went straight to the rsa Nice. Like those boys can, they can drink, man. The RSA or the army dudes? Oh, like well, everyone. Like so, yeah. so everyone that was in the parade and dawn service and all that uh, went to the RSA afterwards. Like you follow them, they like they finish their parade outside the RSA. Mm-hmm. Everyone piles in, full of. Uh, Wait, bike. what time was it once you got to the RSA? Like eleven a.m. Six, and we're just straight on it. Um, you know, you know, like the fire brigade guys, police are there, you know, so it's, it's all services as well. You know, it's not just the army boys, but so everyone's just putting away pints. Yeah. It was, it, which is really good. Just bladdered by one. Yeah. Like, 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 I don't know. Also the demographic of the, like everyone in the RSA is <laughs> like, they're, different? they're sleeping at 4 PM regardless, <laughs> you know, whether they've been on the piss or not. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, hell of a weekend, uh, thoroughly enjoyed um, supporting uh, Gareth and just being a part of this whole Anzac Day thing and I think it'll probably be something that I'd do in the future um, would love to get the boys involved and like spend a day doing like a remembrance day things like that and yeah. and like show them like the RSAs and things like that and because it, it really is a, it's a great day yeah I've always like I've, I've probably only been to like a handful of dawn parades in my life I've done a couple at the museum and then one at Riverhead War Memorial Park but uh, yeah I mean I do feel bad when I don't do it I'm like mm. fuck because they get so behind it like you get the gusto for it and everything yeah. and then I know in the NRL they go pretty big for Anzac Day and they do the last post in that before every game and it just fires you up so I oh, think like, the, the last least you post, can do back yeah. is turn up 
that the last post, man, like that, that's, if, if I'm going to shed a tear to anything on that day, it's like when that trumpet, oh, sorry, I've been corrected. It's a bugle. When that mm-hmm. bugle goes. Um, uh, Aragorn's inauguration. Uh, inauguration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a crater that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enough about me, bro. What's, what's you been up to? How's your weekend? I, well, just like you say, you've been going to your parents for the long weekends. I've been going to the batch every weekend or going away and went up north again, but I didn't go with the family this time. I rolled out with a squad and yeah. went with Harry and Joe and their partners. Um, live in Siena and then took the lady up and <coughs> the lady lady, lady. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a sick weekend man we um I didn't I didn't want to go and just sink piss and like I t- <laughs> <laughs> that's not like you I t- no, I, like I, I, get, I, I did, but I didn't. I get you mean. You had a, you had a good weekend. Yeah, that, I was I was fatigued when I got there, so I wanted to charge the batteries. Right, and right. we had a really good crowd for what it was. Yeah, but, it's, uh, origi- it's a bit of a different dynamic to the group. Like you say, like if you if we have a long weekend and we go to the batch, hmm. it's usually like a, a lad sort of thing, isn't it? It's yeah. Like, so it's a different dynamic. It was, and I'm like, hey, me, Harry, and Joe have had some like some of my craziest times have happened when it is just us three that'll put our hand mm. up mm. and then next thing you know you're like wild yeah i it can get like that like especially mm. with like the group dynamic everyone's got their own friendship and relationship with each other yeah. so i see that yeah how, have, sorry wait you go uh, how'd the girls get along well yeah well yeah no it was <clears> sick <throat> um they go on great um i think everyone just like everyone was pretty chill um everyone got into like board games and i (laughs) (laughs) it was sick because harry also has not played fuck all board games and he was more vocal about the fact that he hadn't played board games so he took the brunt of the chat from people saying you haven't played board games and i was sitting there like dude i'm not (laughs) you can't like jump on the same boat now that he said it yeah oh no my classic is i just love to watch (laughs) (laughs) i don't want to play so that was later in the night anyway <laughs> uh, <laughs> um yeah like i don't know i don't know harry doesn't strike me as a guy to play board games either and, and neither do you no, but he so. was good I, I mean he was keen to learn but there was also like a constant uh constant drinking to like beers and that and then we saw the ufc on the sunday and that and everyone it was sick because every day everyone had a nap like a, oh, like an yeah. afternoon siesta and Love i'm not a, i'm not a napper Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're not. You're not a napper. Nah, I don't like to have a sleep. I can't just go to sleep like that. Like it takes me fucking long enough to get to sleep each night. Anyway, when someone's like, "I'm gonna go have a nap," I'm like, "Sweet, I need to get tired." <laughs> I think we touched on this last episode. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. No, I'm I'm out like fucking light. If I if I could like, if I could, I'd nap like three times a day. <laughs> Are you a bat? Yeah. <laughs> sorry boss uh yeah, yeah. so this one like imagine like working in spain like siesta is like a real thing like the whole like the, the shops shut what down what do you do if you've got energy <clears throat> i don't know work out game surf whatever i don't not know not sleep yeah just <laughs> yeah. but just in terms of like functionality all the shops close yeah like it's it's like their right to sleep to sleep <laughs> we're moving to spain yeah. <laughs> hola this is off topic <laughs> I'm not even gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, what's what's eleven in Spanish? <laughs> Ele- oh, fuck. I not. Better not. But uh, there was there was a um a small kind of step forward, I guess you'd say. And I ref I yeah, you know, last few episodes I've been saying this girl been dating and then this and then this and then this. She's and still think, got name suppression? I think so. I don't know. I need to talk to her about it. All right um yeah i don't know if she's cool with everything like all of it. i'm <laughs> sure it'd be fine um but i it, that was it was kind of the next step where i was like uh, and i call it the switch flip ah uh, yeah uh. there was one moment uh get the smile off my face <laughs> um where it was like sat- saturday night sunday night and that afternoon everyone had their naps and i just watched the ufc and i was happy i drank some beers then she came out watched the ufc 
was happy. I was like sick. Nice. Uh, and then went to bed that night and I was just laying there having a nice cuddle and that. And, you know, when like I was, my thoughts were running wild, you know, as I do before bedtime. Mm. And I was like, damn, this is, I like this. I'm happy. And like I've prefaced in earlier episodes, it's been like uh, kind of, it's gone from, you know, the good days being few and far between to now I'm happy to say the bad days are pretty few and far between. So hell yeah that's Thanks, fucking man. awesome man um i'm stoked i i haven't met this girl um and i think she is pretty cool and, and awesome and it's it's so cool to see you happy um Thanks. like um yeah it's it's unreal like I, I know like your past and your history and everything like that so for you to be for hat to have said switch flip is mm. quite cool Had yeah it, i but, mean it's like when i talk about it it sounds like it's all moving real fast and like things are moving a million miles but i but uh, there's a part of me that obviously is like jared don't like you can still like the walls up kind of thing but at mm. the same time i want to let my imagination run wild and i want to do that because like you've said in earlier episodes if you don't have the end goal in mind what's the fucking point <laughs> <laughs> i'm just one person but uh i'm not a relationship expert or by any means um but yeah like i i i believe in finding out these things early uh, but also like not holding back like what's why if something's natural and, you, and it feels right yeah and um <clears throat> you know like but but what do you like exactly mean by like this switch flipping like what it's like, like uh, i guess it's from it's that mm, when you go from well and this is it's in like in this sense it's from just girl that you talk to you're dating and all that sort of stuff <laughs> to like i i want good things to happen to her if you know that oh god that's worth it really <laughs> yeah. poorly or you you notice yourself you're doing small things like you're right you're doing these like little things and then so what you're saying is you're dating someone and basically you get to a certain point and you're like hang on this could be something you're, yeah, you're, so you're yeah, experiencing yeah. Uh, you start to notice lust those. adjacents, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. as as you see delicately delicately put it in yeah. previous podcasts uh, for this girl, yeah, and that's great. So so you've had a, a definitive moment that kind of <laughs> funnily defined mm. kind of that 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 flip. And I, I said it like openly out loud at the time. I, I kind of announced <laughs> under it. your breath. No, no, I announced Click. it, yeah. <laughs> and then it was reciprocated, and I was like. <laughs> I think I literally said like my switch is, is flip like, too. Nah. <laughs> I was just like, this is so sick. I don't know what to say. <laughs> just fist bumper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or just kind of like <laughs> in bed. Oh. But oh. you know uh, what I mean I, though? I do. I do. I, I know exactly what you mean. Um, uh, so much in fact that I have been in similar situations before. Mm. Um, however, maybe not the switch going the certain way if if you think of it like on a knife edge instead of going one way multiple times gone the other way mm. um like I, I i know what you mean like and you, you start to you start to date this this girl and everything's going good and everything's sweet but um i've had occasions where maybe something wasn't 100 percent. yeah and i wasn't diving in head first like that's the thing about the switch <laughs> yeah I wasn't taking it to meet the parents or, you know, going to the batch or things like that. Um, and where, you know, like the switch kind of just went the other way. Sorry, lady. Mm. I got to go. Um, but yeah, so I know, I know exactly the, the scenario you're in. It's it, yeah. you, once you get past that sort of sort of barrier and that point. Mm. Cause I get hell nervous for the parent <coughs> meeting shit. Like talk here, talk with the boys. That's all sweet. Talking to an adult is like, I don't <laughs> like when not adults. Well, this is how I talk all the time. So when I'm talking, <laughs> when I'm talking to an oh, adult, a lovable goof. Yeah, when I'm talking to an adult, it's kind of hard to put that away mm. and just do the classic like, "How's work?" Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but then try and do like a smart joke or something like an icebreaker. Because he's quite intelligent smarter than me fucking i've learned that very quickly <laughs> yeah yeah very quickly <clears throat> so uh, well but 
that doesn't necessarily um, no, I like have it. to define I like it. it. I, I, I'm, I'm learning. Oh, no. Like that's the cool part. I, I learn a lot. Yeah, it's it's great. But uh, she obviously deals with a lot of intelligent people and intellectual people on a day to day basis. She mm. likes the idea that you're funny and like your your humor is, and it just it helps her unwind. You know what I mean? Like so, yeah. like don't feel like you have to meet someone. Well, that, that goes for anyone. Like you, you got to be yourself and what they're looking for if that helps them mm. then that you know they obviously she's obviously likes you for you yeah. and that's that's winning yeah and it's good because i like i think i said earlier when i started bringing it up that i was like ah oh, you know there's more to me than just the like the, I, it'll it'll slowly unravel <laughs> and it's getting there but but when she met the parents here like first thing mum said she was just like like be warned <laughs> this gets it gets kind of chaotic yeah come around at christmas yeah oh, seeing the, seen the standards at christmas sweet all 60 of us yeah. <laughs> they kill and feel <laughs> they, they, they don't make a table long enough no <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, yeah it's a good time part of me um but yeah there is like defining moments um for, like for that switch to flip hmm. um like, do you have any, like, moments that she has done? Or, like, it, it, is there anything that, like, made that decision for you? Or helped that make that decision easier? Yeah. I, I don't know if it's because I've just been single for a while. But there is just, like, small, small things. Like, mm. small things. Uh, in the sense of, like... Aren't they great? <laughs> <laughs> like, the stuff like, they don't tell you about. Just a coffee getting made for me? Yeah. And I was like, you know... Oh, she's doing it because I made her a coffee yesterday. No, she's just doing it because she wants to do it. Now, nah, don't keep score. Yeah, I know, right? But that's just how I'm ticking over at the moment because I'm still like kind of adjusting to how things work. But then, even with the UFC, it's not something that she cares about, but she was inquisitive about it. And then when I told her, she remembered certain things. And then by the end of it, I heard her saying like, man, that was pretty cool. And I was like, no way. She <laughs> likes cage fighting. <laughs> Well, she's shown interest in your interests. Yeah, exactly. And I have interest in her interest too, so... Hey, mate, let's wrap it up in a bow. Early doors, mate. <laughs> Early doors. Early doors. Yeah, so um, by Podcast 11? Nah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I like like I said, I <clears throat> completely understand that switch. Um, flipping, I've just unfortunately say like the last couple of times i've been on the other end of that where uh maybe the little things hadn't been done or um i don't know, like just like weren't feeling like when you know you know um, i think that's the big thing yeah and kind of just went in other directions um like what's something that you need to see to know that it's real like if, if what if you could name a couple of things that would flip the switch in a good way what's an andy example <laughs> <laughs> well nah. um to be honest it's, yeah like you said this, this, those small things are important to me um i i haven't really had too much um like and i've talked about this before like reciprocation um i'm a person that like enjoys uh doing these the big the, yeah doing these the big moments and i don't expect them back I, that's fine but like the way that they're received and mm. um and you know just like uh the, the appreciation needs to be there yeah i think um like just just appreciate the fact that i've gone to these links sort of thing yeah i don't don't expect you to do the same things because i i enjoy doing them myself mm. you know if you don't enjoy them that's fine but so <clears throat> i don't know that's that's a big thing and then like you say taking interest and in interest like i um you know play i've been playing football things like that like come watch my game you know what i mean like, oh, sorry, I thought that was an invitation. I was like, sorry, dude, I've only ever watched one. <laughs> Turns out I'm the lady. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so like, I would just say, you know, like show show interest into my interests, mm. like this girl has been doing for yourself. Um, yeah, like like I said, like show up to my game or um, perhaps like meet, meet the folks, you know, Get, yeah. getting along with family is quite big. There was one thing I noticed is that I would, in passing, just like in conversation, mention something about the boys and that. And she hasn't even met half of them, you know? Yeah. But she'd bring it up later. If I once again brought up that person, I'd be like, oh, how did he go with this, this, and this? And I was like, wait, you remember? 
Yeah, and, you haven't even met this person. Yeah. Memory of a freaking elephant, which is daunting. Yeah, watch out for that. Don't fall into any traps, mate. I have no reason to lie. I am clean cut and great answer. Blue collared. <laughs> I don't know. That's the right thing to say, right? Yeah. But um you know, like it's not it's not the only thing. Um like relationships of I've, I've actually you know and I had to like bail out of and things like that you know like yeah I, I'm I'm not necessarily a person that bails out on things once they start but mm. um what you know that sounds bad like once I start a relationship I'm not leaving I gotta stick <laughs> yeah. this out but um I do believe like if it's not right like then to you know you need to check yourself if you start something yeah 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 but if if i were am just like if it was outside of relationships like um i don't necessarily bail out on things you know like i i like to stick things through to the end yeah you know what i mean um have you had any <clears throat> have you had anything that you like bail out of yeah yeah so although we're super alike this is one thing we are kind of opposite on mm. is that i'll happily stop something and not feel like i've quit if if i know it's just not for me right i'd rather <clears throat> dip my finger in a million pies but as <laughs> i wish oh, i but love a pie. million pies oh hmm. savory sweet who knows hmm. uh, but i do as long as i can extract some sort of information out of the exchange like yep. so many things you do now whether it's like a conversation or you go and you do like a course or you try and do something everything's a transaction like you have to get something out of it and as long as i can get something out of it even if it's not for me i'm not going to call it a loss or i'm not going to call it quitting but i'm also right. a firm believer i'm like i'm 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 where i am like there's a reason to it you know i'm right ha- right I'm happy yeah so your, your decisions and your actions are, are made yeah. you who are today whether that was bailing out of something or sticking it through the yeah. end, whatever like Oh, yeah. no, I, I, I don't have that. any like overbearing regrets that like daunt me to this day or anything mm. but like uni I, I tried to go to uni that's right I went for six weeks and uh, probably in that six weeks I went for three weeks I learned very quickly this isn't for me I realized I did all my reading and writing in high school and I don't want to do that anymore <laughs> yeah. and then they mentioned something about an exam and I was like <laughs> later mate jared hasn't done one of them for eight years yeah, this this uh this train ride is too long it's <laughs> oh, too yeah. much reading too much riding yeah I don't, I don't think i would have got through uni if i had to take the train uh, like i was fortunate enough to um have a vehicle at, like I, I think you probably had a vehicle as well but i think yeah and, uh, but i was my, out in freaking kumi trying to get to town yeah I and, and my, my parents helped me out um like petrol wise and stuff like that if it was for school or for uh uni they would help out. Oh, nice. Because, well, you, un- you understand this. Growing up out in Kumu and uh, schooling on the North Shore, those bus fees were something ridiculous, like a couple of hundred dollars a term, mm. like just to get, you know, like get you to and from school. Yeah, I don't remember, but it sounds right. Oh, I used to I used to go in, like back when it was like Richie's and mum would write a check. I'd walk onto the bus with a check. One turn pass, please. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. It's gone in the head with like a fucking peach or something. <laughs> like a fucking brick. Yeah. <laughs> it was um, it was it was ridiculous. And this this was before um, before like the electronic systems, and they still had like the train conductor. Yeah, you got your clicks, little like, like Tom Hanks on the Polar <laughs> Express, like yeah. writes a little thing. L E. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, yeah man. Polar was... Express joke for anyone in the know. <laughs> oh, sorry um no I, I that was yeah it was very expensive back then and i couldn't even fucking tell you how we got here no. uh, <laughs> buses <laughs> school bailing out of shit right yeah. um yeah so they helped me out that was it was bloody expensive and then, so for them to be paying my petrol to get to uni and stuff like that it was like fucking cheap airs mm you know what do they say pennies or whatever i don't know chips uh, <laughs> yeah, whatever that saying is um so yeah that was it was fine for me um and i, I ended up sticking uni out uh yeah, you did buddy not that i ever use it um 
But yeah, another one maybe like um like sport wise, like yeah, hundred percent, like played played sport growing up a lot, and then when you, I don't know, I don't know if it's because we like where we grew up or like the, the the our friends group or like the way that our culture was or something, but it was like we, I stopped playing sport maybe 17 17 yeah yeah dude i was the same thing bro i put rugby growing up every year and then it just got to a point where my interest waned and i had other interests which honestly they were going to parties <clears throat> drinking smoking weed and yeah. those like that really just i didn't want to devote the after school trainings and the saturday of like riding friday night off and i like i, I wish I wish I didn't, because I I I love rugby. I loved playing rugby. I still I still imagine I would. Yeah. But you know, like I say, I'm I'm here because maybe rugby wasn't for me in the end. I mm. don't know. Spent your time doing other things. I mean, yeah. I I feel like I came to a crossroads. It was more like, like I in my last season, I got to the point where like it hit like half time, and I'm having like yaks on the side of the pitch while there's a team talk going on. Nice. And it's like I was I was hung over to death. I, like had eaten like a pie in like three days straight and it was like okay something's got to give <laughs> and, and it's not the pies <laughs> no my dumb ass decided to quit you got a million fingers in them <laughs> and the toes <laughs> oh, <yuck. laughs> hey you gotta have uh everything in the pies mate um sort of american pie <laughs> 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 that dude put his hot kids in a pie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the studio audience. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, um if you couldn't tell, uh, we got a couple of boys in the in our in our studio um today. Um uh, thanks for coming out. I'm gonna check out what's what's going on. So shout out Connor, shout out Ryan. Um Where the f- fuck did we come from um what i was gonna another thing that i was thinking about when you said that was we were talking about uni but i think it was what came from uni because i did leave uni but then i did go back and study eventually and i did the film stuff which is like it's great because i've learned all this stuff and i don't like i have fun doing it and i've still got an interest in doing it and we watch we're, we're, mo- we're film buffs we love watching film and i can still like oh, yeah. dissect the shit out of it we do need to do a film episode we need to break down some movies we do yeah yeah um we used to every sunday pizza movie and just, just oh go man for it. And we, let's tell the story about dad <laughs> just we just dissect it yeah so we used to live in like me and you we lived in a flat in forest hill i moved in there uh by myself uh to start with uh, a couple of people moved out and then you you followed another person moved out and the guy that was still there one of the original guys um brought in his mate as well so the the, the flat dynamic was me and you and him and his mate the two older guys yeah two older guys and this dude that he brought in like we were like 22 23 something like that yeah like this guy that he brought in was like 36 yeah it was like it was like a it was a man he looked like a um <laughs> what is it a lumberjack yeah 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 he was an arborist yeah uh not well he actually wasn't he made kayaks um (laughs) but i never he never went to work (laughs) no he he was always home um (laughs) but we would (laughs) we'd go so sunday routine like we were very ritualistic in this flat and we we just lived we, we would we would join at the hip and I think that's where we got a lot of these conversations going, which eventually has led to this, so it's great. Mm. But on Sundays, we'd go grocery shopping, get everything for the week, and get some snacks. Yeah. Okay, just like a bottle of aloe, some jalapeno corn chips, and like a salsa. Oh, fuck, I'm still doing that now. (laughs) (laughs) And Sunday night would roll around, and that meant house pizza and a good movie. Mm. So we'd go upstairs... Dad, oh, so, so this dude, we called him dad yeah. because <laughs> I, I keep saying dad. We called him dad because he was thirty six yeah. and made kayaks, and he always said, but like, he was he always had like the best advice. Yeah, like you know, he's, it was he's like, seen it all. He yeah, had that yeah. withered eye that's like I've done my time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he, 
but he also took the piss out of us but i think it was it was it was like a little jesterly way in a sense that he was like you guys are idiots like oh. you, he said straight up he's like you, you guys are literally idiots yeah he's like but you are pretty funny we, we would laugh and shrug it off and be like oh yeah we are yeah thanks <laughs> dad yeah, we he's like, does this guy know i'm not their dad <laughs> yeah <laughs> and we just go to him and be like dad dad we need a movie to watch yeah and he'd tell us and our pizza would turn up and we'd sit in bed watch a movie and then afterwards you could always find dad out on the deck having a cigarette because he was always quitting yeah yeah Uh, yeah. it it got to a point where like we uh we'd be like oh like what's a good movie to watch like while you're high and we're like yeah oh yeah we were high during this too (laughs) and and it was like okay watch this but like make sure you're like stoned and we're like sweet because we were going to do that anyway um so we go down watch the film come back up and be like and we'd both be like at the same time like oh my god <laughs> and he'll be like out in the dick having a ciggy and you like throw the pack and it would like slap me across the face he's like help yourself i'm quitting tomorrow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he like flicks the cigarette like yeah. <laughs> it's just it was like oh geez this guy's so cool <laughs> yeah. tell us more father yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was um no but great flat and it was, it was a great addition to like like our story like this this guy yeah how like got us into like analyzing movies like we we were both we we're both movie buffs but like he helped us like find that um that connection i don't know like that like yeah that we both enjoyed it and like like to analyze he helped cobble things. the last of the bridge yeah to that's form right two lands yeah dead <laughs> was the stream <laughs> see sam like on like out in the street and he's like yeah. he never lived there <laughs> it was just a spirit oh, guide don't do that to me <laughs> can you imagine no I, I went in a, i've been in his room have i we can go go back like visit that flat and that room's just like never been there. Off. yeah him and him and samta both a myth can you imagine that <sighs> i had to get off the sail yeah we blink and we're still on the deck <laughs> oh, oh man the nights that we had on the deck man like yeah this, this we're way off topic um, this <laughs> this um this deck out the back of the flat was like perfect like view of the backyard the sun would come over in the afternoon and you just see like greenery out the back and it was just it's just one of those decks that you need a chair and you're just not leaving i've had my one chair my whole life but not my whole <laughs> life i got it probably five years ago <laughs> but this thing is withered from my baby hot cakes and <laughs> It just I sit and it just well, yeah we'd stare and the, it, our, our, it was kind of you could see the neighbors on the side but they weren't in the way and then out the back was just a giant tree with a rope swing and a shed that we dared never to cross the lawn to enter. <laughs> no, the, no, fuck that! It was a creepy old shed out the back it's of the a property. Scary shed yeah. and there's obviously gargoyles in there. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> so yeah, so so we sent Dad in. Yeah, and he called us idiots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um but yeah the, the the amount of nights like we ended up like being it was like a it'd be like tuesday night we're like shall we and then yeah, yeah it got just bad. it got bad yeah oh i mean look it was all within reason we're hard working people and we turn up to work every day do our mahi go home and, and we excel in, in every day that we do mm. but we at this part we were really big on sm- celebrating small successes yeah which you still am yeah but we were just celebrating it a bit differently back then it was like oh well we were living together we mm. had this perfect deck yeah. <laughs> it'd be a shame <laughs> for it to go to waste yeah we had dad looking over us yeah and, and giving us advice so and then cut to us just belching black eyed peas <laughs> off the end just dancing just pump it louder <laughs> Yeah, I've just seen way too many shimmy shimmy claps on the on yeah, that right. deck. <laughs> oh, on the ashtray. Oh yeah, no no no. Let's let's not go there. Yeah, no, think, it was grace. Yeah, I think people I think people can envision what's going on there. All right, um, <laughs> but bailing out on things. Woo. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah, the film career. That's what I. That's, so well, we were in this flat. We were doing a lot of movie stuff, and that was after I had been to film school and i'd done a bit of work in the industry i hate to say that but i've done a bit of work, work with sky for a bit done this like oh, for like tiny bit 
done bits and pieces some freelance jobs and that and that is something i 100 percent bailed on um the freelancing life can but, be tough but you got your you. diploma i got it so you finished the study i finished the study but then that's only the diploma pretty much is something that you can give to people to say i know my shit like, i know enough for you to treat me like the worst person on set <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah like it is a, it can get a little like cutthroaty with like who you know and all of that and that's how freelancing works it's all hearsay passing things on you work well with someone you'll get a call back mm. i didn't go far enough into it to be doing that i quit early because i need, i wanted the constant money and the freelance life i didn't want to live at home i wanted to flat which meant that i had rent to pay every week and i had bills and then i've always had this option of working with my dad right so even like i'd do the odd film job and then when that wasn't paying i could go work with dad and then eventually as i started to progress with that it came to that fork in the road where it was like you're gonna do this or you're gonna do that it's done forks yeah i wish it was just a spoon and i could <laughs> just <laughs> why not do both yeah i i, I can 100 percent relate did the same thing went to uni finished the study which i guess uh follows with the trend of st- sticking it out but uh i don't ever, ever see myself using a diploma for what it was what's intended pretty sure i lost that thing at a beer pong match anyway nice yeah i think i think jordan owns that <laughs> technically yeah um, we had graduation straight to a party at his flat in my robes and stole from the graduation bet it on the first beer pong game i played and lost sorry mum. i drove past that flat the other day and i had ethan in the car with me and as we drove past i slowed down and i was like i'm just letting you know little brother <laughs> you just pulled up outside this house <laughs> yeah. okay it was a long driveway but i was yeah, like yeah. there's a piece of my soul in that garage oh fucking a hmm. under there's, a little a piece of tarpaulin all of our souls in that garage all of our souls <laughs> <laughs> fuck I am, just, I am not on it tonight um <laughs> hell yeah yeah i but that diploma although like it's taught me a lot you know like i i learned a lot at uni um like from anything from like budgeting funds to um which i'm terrible at anyway um but you know budgeting funds or um like high level of learning and thinking and like like critical thinking um, how to approach things and write assignments, you know, like yeah. shit that I didn't learn at school, like, yeah. you know, but uh, I don't think I'm ever going to be an outdoor ed instructor, you know, <laughs> like, it's so, uh, yeah, like, yeah, I, I think sticking things out is important mm. um, rather than like, like bailing out on things, but you, you're like, like you say, you'll often come to these forks in the road, mm. uh, but it's, it's what you say so what you make out of it really i guess like yeah you know what i mean like i i'm not going to use that diploma for what's intended but i take the learnings from it and i can apply that to day-to-day that's life that's what i mean as long as you've extracted what you can from it you've mm. learned from it and you can you can if you can acknowledge that then mm. i don't think it's a loss but they're also like polar opposite of that there is an importance of sticking things to the end there's mm. like you should be a man of your word if you give your word to someone you have to keep it that's part of being a man i guess yeah yeah i mean it's also like um like how do i put this like if if like we've got we've shout out bevan you know he did six years at in dunedin you know if you did six years at university you'd almost feel like you had to in a way yeah you know like actually i don't i'm not even sure how much he uses his degrees but doesn't i talked to him about it like the other day well there you go there's another example but I feel like there would be that sort of feeling like if you were to do six years of study, you'd feel like obliged to, you know, like keep going with it. So yeah. I don't know. It, maybe it might so- take you six years to realize it's not for you though. And there's, yeah, there's no love lost in it. I mm. mean, it's, it runs on their own different race. Like, I mean, that's not a race is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I've also, um, <clears throat> due to like, like, I don't know if it's like fear or, or whatever it is but like I, i've often not tried things uh due to in the first place yeah like or like in in the, in, in the even like the beginning 
out of i don't know if it's like fear of fail failure or looking like a fool for a while yeah or um i mean like take this podcast like um <clears throat> not that i was ever in doubt that this would uh be fun and fill the void and um you know like we, we you know doing well yeah um but there's a lot of times and scenarios in my life where i will already outweigh uh sorry like weigh up like the negatives and positives and just not try yeah which is like a bit of a downfall and it is and i think that is something that especially it is like a kind of a bad culture with a lot of dudes Mm. where you don't you don't want to be seen as like failing or you don't want to be seen as doing bad so you don't try you know the, the the idea of looking cool all the time it's detrimental to your freaking mental health like you should you should be trying things all the time and i think everything everyone's getting better at it yeah if you want to try it do it if you don't like it you tried there's no harm in there mm. and whilst there is importance to sticking things out mm. it's not necessarily the end of the world because mm. bailing out on things like you say as long as you take the good from it then if you if you bail out like okay what you might lose money you might lose some time it's some time and, but who cares? there's there's training you know and there's learning to be had so yeah there's with the like i know you just stick things out what am i trying to say i just had a thought you can't lose anything by giving it a go and if it does go well there is a deeper satisfaction in knowing that you wanted to do something and then it worked for you rather Mm. than something that fell into your lap or something that you were supposed to do if you chase something that's a little bit out of your lane or it was a thought to you one day where where, if it's moved from just a thought thinking that might be cool to putting it into action that's the biggest step yeah and you get so much from that you get confidence which is it's going to have a ripple effect where you're going to try a lot of things and you're going to expand like your circles that you didn't know you have it's going to make you wholesome it's going to make you worldly it's going to give you a better perspective on so many different things yeah, can, can you imagine like how our world would be if people didn't get shot down like by like societal views like if you know like fucking roof off right like yeah like humans are, so, are capable of so much yeah but being told like tall poppy syndrome like being told that they're not good enough or uh, like ideas getting shot down or like fear of starting things because in the, in the first place because they think they're going to get ridiculed for it yeah can you imagine where this race would be if that didn't exist it'd be out of this world it'd be it'd be immaculate like it'd be insane mm. where we would be so yeah the people that are listening if you're thinking of doing it no matter what it is do it you're not going to regret it once upon a time, this was just a thought. And now we're on episode 10. Yeah. Woo. But yeah. yeah. I mean, there is a couple of things where it is definitely 100% important to stick out. Your apprenticeship, for example. Yeah. Yeah. I that am. is something that you signed up for. And I know last week we talked about <laughs> that you were really close to bailing out. Yeah. But you've stuck it through. And it's like pain you, dividends. You, you care about it a lot. And then there's going to yeah. be this huge like gratification when you when it does pass. Oh, that, that feeling of, of when I do finally complete uh, the, the apprenticeship or, or anything in life. Like, it's a... Like, we all see how much you care. Mm. It's sick. Ah, thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I, I'm tra- trying very, very hard. Um, and it's, as well, like, it's... Um, that's the other thing. Like, it, it, when you do try to do something, is like, putting the effort in, right? Like, yeah. so... Cause you, like, I've, I've gone all in with this, you know? Like, I've... Uh, getting older i've decided like uni's not for me but you know like i'm i feel like i'm going all in on this uh if i decide to not do it in the future right like we've just talked about no sweat off my back i'm happy with it i've mm. I've tried it but at least i can say that i've gone all in done something you yeah. know you know like if, if if i went half ass on it and mm-hmm. then and then failed you know be like oh no nah, that's not for me like i'd, I'd hate myself for it yeah. sorry this <laughs> hates a strong word but i if if i fail or decide something is not for me at least i know it's not for me because i because i've really actually put that time in put your freaking sweat and tears into it yeah it's Fucking, the same as and, this and, podcast if, if there are weeks where we don't feel like we yeah. might feel a little off or where it takes us a while to rev up and record like people just see from the second we start recording but they don't see the week leading up to it. We were like, dude, we like, mm. can't get anything to talk about. I can't, I don't feel like talking today. I've had a pretty shit day. Oh man. Yeah. You get to Friday and 
you, you know, hard day on the tools or, or it's been pissing down the rain or you've been having to talk a lot or, or do whatever and you get home and you, you don't get, feel like talking yeah yeah but we started something and we're going to stick it out and we've you know we're, we're, we've heard you guys as well uh, a, a lot of you um are finding inspiration in some of our chats you find it's funny it helps or whatever and and that's what we want to do is like is be here for you guys as well um and hopefully us talking about our troubles and our problems can help other people to try something do something like do something that you're afraid of or you know like or, or stick something out yeah that's right i guess if this conversation that we've just had about bailing out of things or sticking with things it's gonna <clears throat> look if it resonates with one person job done mm. but i think each like each of their own different personalities work different ways like like me and you we've given perfect examples of it i just think yeah it just bugs me when you hear all these stories about the what ifs or like yeah. i was thinking about doing this like what stopped you from executing that mm. Some people are going to get enough time. Likes. Life got in the way. <laughs> yeah. Life's always going to get in the way. That's life. Yeah. Yeah. But just ugh, go for it. <laughs> There's a million things you can do. Mm. I agree. All right, man. Um, yeah. Uh, phew, we actually went down to the rabbit hole there. But oh, thank, thank, you know, thank you guys for listening and, and keep keeping in contact with you. Like when we, uh, meet you guys in person and see a lot of you out in the street and stuff like we have had nothing but great response from you and like feel free uh, feel free to talk to us about stuff you know like um we don't necessarily have to use your name on podcasts and stuff like that but um helps us understand our like viewers a bit better and mm. sorry our listeners a bit better and yeah well we had a big one the other week i told you about it i was out i'm not going to say who the person was but they did say that one of the earlier podcasts we had the same kind of conversation about trying things mm. and he had <clears throat> said he was like dude that really resonated uh, that just he said he was like just i want you to know that that kind of affected me in a good way yeah and that was dude that's what we do it for this like the views the downloads all of that that's all great that's fantastic but when someone tells you that that was i was like oh it's a bit bigger than yeah but bigger than the numbers right. and once you realize that you can start affecting someone else's life by your own actions it makes you want to do more yeah, yeah so that might have been what was in the back of our minds coming into this but yeah so, so it was sick keep keep up the contact whether it's through instagram or or in person or, or uh, facebook whatever it is like get in touch with us yeah here anytime always happy to talk tell stories give advice whatever um if you do <laughs> if you do want to get at us uh you can get um off topic on instagram uh, off topic chat on instagram just dm us um you'll see some of our clips from our episodes that come out earlier in the week on youtube on the off topic youtube channel you'll see the igtvs do some reels of some shorter clips and stuff like that otherwise the youtube links go up on our facebook page off topic uh with the shorter videos as well and then of course the email is always open off topic jandy at gmail.com Mm, come through yeah uh this has been fun man that was good to air the box out a bit um we started with some laughs and then we kind of got some shit across that was on the <laughs> chest a bit yeah so hey uh here's, cheers, bro. here's to episode That's 10 episodes man who would have thought i yeah. mean here's to the next 10 they might have a laugh about us celebrating 10 episodes but it's honestly like a nine more than some people thought we'd do so suck it <laughs> anyway <laughs> peace Hey. <laughs> hey.